Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another amazing video for you guys. So today what we're going to be doing is playing alongside OG and Ash, who are two obviously very, very well-known players. And I don't know if they like my idea very much, but we're going to be hopping into some gem grab undermine with triple thrower. Yes, you guys heard me correct. Triple thrower. It's going to be super hard. Um, obviously, this is not a very conventional comp. It's going to be really tough for us to win games against other top North Americans. And maybe we might even get some Europeans if matchmaking isn't on our side today. But we're just going to hop into a few games. We're going to see what we can get. So with that being said, let's just hop into it. Okay, so here we go into the first game. We're going to be facing a Spike, a Poco, and a Jesse. So not a bad comp for this map. I think we're going to let OG mid over here just because he has the most range. So we're going to be leaning against a Jesse over here. So we're just going to try and cover some area. She's probably just going to walk up and try and get some easy auto-aim shots off on us. Uh, we got her pretty low, but we weren't able to get the kill there. We probably have the hardest lane. Okay, so we did find the Jesse. I think we just got the kill. Okay, we did. We're able to snag that kill. We're going to miss our super over there, unfortunately. Now the spike is going to go on to us. Now the best lane definitely, like, the spike is a crazy counter. Our throwers are a crazy counter to spike. So this is going to be an awesome game for us. If we were going to face any type of OP brawler with triple thrower, I'm very happy that we're facing a spike. So anyways, we're just on our lane over here. Really good job by Ash and OG to hold positioning while I was respawning. We're going to get our super off. We're going to be able to kill the spike who actually went back into our super, which is pretty interesting. Uh, we're just bombarding this Poco. I don't think he's very happy with what's happening to him right now. Uh, he's one shot. Hopefully we can get him. Okay, so we're able to hit that shot on him. OG's going to put his super behind him just so other people don't see it coming. Uh, we're going to get some shots off on that, on that spike. We're going to be able to get the kill. We're also going to super this Poco into our next shots. We're going to be able to get that one as well. A little bit of spinning uh, just because we know we somehow won with triple thrower. And we're just going to back off. So with that, like you don't just back off straight away. You definitely want to do some damage before doing so. Just so you don't get pushed into your spawn with absolutely nothing. So you guys can see we're shooting our shots while still backing up into our spawn. We're going to be able to pick up... Well, we got one kill. We got a couple kills as a team. But anyways, that's super amazing. We got the star player and we actually managed to win with triple thrower against some pretty high opponents. So let's hop into the second game. Again, this is going to be tough if we see something a little bit heavier. But let's see what we can do. Let's hop into the next game. Okay, so here we go into the next game, and we're going to be facing a little bit of a beefier comp, but still some like mid-range, not necessarily a tank. So this one's definitely going to be a test, so this one's definitely going to be a little bit more about skill. Uh, we're probably going to get rushed by this Nita over here, so it's already down to 1k health. We're able to take it out super, super fast, so we're going to move up now. Uh, looks like the Tara might change lanes, I'm not sure. That bow, that bow sorry, is really, really low. Okay, good. That was, that was a pretty crazy super in shot over there. We were able to take out that Nita fairly well. We're going to pressure this Tara, and we're also going to be able to pick up that kill. So we're just going off right now. We're doing very, very well holding our lane. Um, let's take a shot right there. We're going to be able to pick up a super hit onto that Tara, and OG's going to be able just to clean it up. Uh, the Nita's just rushing the mid. We're definitely going to help out OG as he's our mid, and we can't have him go down. And this is just constant, constant pressure. This is pretty insane. Um, that we're actually making this work out. You guys can see the super coming up from behind. They had no clue it was even coming. Um, so the Tara is starting to come to our lane a little bit. As you can see, she definitely wants to switch. I think she's not doing the best. Facing Ash's Barley over there. We're able to take out that bow as well as the Tara. So we're just dominating over here. We're just absolutely going in. Going to spin a little bit just because we somehow managed to beat these guys as well with this comp. Going to get our super down on this Tara. Bounce her into the next shots. And it's looking like this one is going to be game. We're going to get a combined kill over there with OG. And that is going to end it. So that's, an, again, just like insane domination by triple thrower. Again, I definitely wouldn't recommend running this comp. But we just destroyed those guys. I feel like once you get position at the start, and you can have, if you can have all three of them spawning, there's just nothing that they can do. So anyways, let's hop into the next game. Hopefully we get this insane domination. But I want to face someone like a Rosa or a BB or a Mortis. It would be an insane challenge for triple thrower. And see if we can still come out with the win. So let's hop into it. Okay, so here we go into the next game, and just like I asked, we're facing a really, really hard comp here. So we're going to be facing a Gene, which counters throwers. Obviously, we have three, and then a Rosa, which also counters throwers. Um, the Rico does an okay job, but it's definitely the easiest lane out of the three, even though it is doing a really, really good job. We're able to pick up the kill over there, and we're going to start being able to get some pressure on this Gene. Now, this Gene is really good. It's been a thousand many times, uh, just to speak for it. Um, I mean, this is going to be a really, really hard game to win for us. We're going to get a shot off. Hopefully we're going to be able to hit that super. We were able to. We're doing a really great job holding our lane over here. Um, they're not able to get too, too close to us, which is pretty good. 
Um, okay, so OG is definitely helping out a lot more with Ash, but that makes sense since they're just, you know, there's a Rosa over there. We're gonna get our super off over here. We're gonna be able to kill that Rico. And again, we're pressuring uh, this gene really, really well. OG and Alec, or sorry, not Alec, and Ash are doing an insane job on that Rosa. And here, Akil misses his super. We have our super just ready and aimed over there. That's gonna kind of scare them. We're gonna get our super off onto this Rosa. So the Rosa's trying to change lanes now. Uh, it's healing back on the right side, so hopefully it continues going on that right side, because I definitely prefer taking on that this Rico instead. The Rico does have us pretty low, but fortunately we are able to take him out. Um, we're doing a really, really good job so far, actually. So Ash is going to be able to pick up that kill on the Rosa. The Rico does have super, so hopefully we don't die to that. We're going to juke it really well. Uh, we're going to be able, hopefully, to pick up the kill. It doesn't really matter. We're kind of irrelevant if we die. So Ash and OG, having all the gems, we like them to have the gems because we don't want them, are doing an insane job. OG is going to pick up that last uh, gem that we need. Ash is going to go down. And that's going to end the game against some top players using a really big counter comp. So it's actually insane that we're able to pick up that dub. We are absolutely beasting with this comp. 3-0 so far. Let's hop into the next game and let's see if we can continue dominating. Okay, so this is going to be a challenge. We're actually facing competitive players, um, at least one in Glizzy Boy, who's a very strong player. And they're going to be going with a complete counter comp. So this is going to be mission impossible, basically, for us. We're going to get pinched over here by Glizzy, unfortunately. We're going to be taken out, and it's going to be super hard for us to win lane now against them. I mean, this is just going to be an insane challenge. I'm not sure how we're going to be able to do this, to be honest. Uh, looks like the Tara is somewhere over there. Glizzy's just shaking at us. Uh, fortunately for us, though, he does miss that super. We just need to pick up a kill or two, hopefully, and then we'll be able to go right back into this. There is a really aggro Tara over here, so hopefully my teammates can help and we'll be able to take it out. But it is super, super hard to take out someone who's focusing thrower shots. So we're going to be able to pick up a hit over there. We're probably going to be able to take it out. Okay, so we got him right over there. Because he's being a little bit too cocky, and we're actually going to be able to take him down uh we're able to hit that shot as well come on okay we're able to get those gems a little bit of cockiness might have just costed it for them we're able to get this super off okay was able to land a kill and now we have all the gems we need in order to take this game we just can't die over here and they have a huge threat in glizzy and in the rosa coming towards us so we just have to manage this properly we're able to take out glizzy Owen is pretty low. We're able to get our super off. There is nowhere for him to go. And that is going to end the game. So a little bit of cockiness right there. A little bit of uncalculated BM. And we're actually able to take that game. Um, that's an insane fourth game. We're going to do one more. Just get a fifth game out there. Hopefully we can go 5-0 with the triple thrower. Let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go. Into the fifth and final game. And we're going to be facing, again, a pretty good comp against ours. But I think we can hold our own. So we're going to go on this right side over here. Um, okay, I'm scared there's a bull in the bushes or something. Oh god. Okay, there definitely is a bull in the bushes. So we're doing a pretty good, good job handling it. I don't know how it didn't kill us, to be honest. Okay, so it's right beside us. Um, it's definitely one shot. We're able to pick up the kill on him. So we're going to move up over here again. Once you get this like really advantageous position with the throwers, it's really hard to take us out of here. So we're going to get our super down onto this bull. We're going to bop him into our other shots. We're going to use our super. Unfortunately, we're going to miss, but we should be able to kill that Jesse anyways. Going to get our super off and as well be able to kill that Rico. So we're doing an insane job right now. Going to help out a little bit with that bull, even though there's not much I can do because I do have to remain on my side. Good super by OG as he's able to take out that Rico. Just flashing my super, kind of scaring the Jesse. She's going to go right back into it. That's going to be a kill. We're going to get another kill as a team. And that's looking like it might be it. The bull is spinning. The bull knows it's just about over at this point. We're going to use our super. He's going to juke it. And, I mean, at this point, there's really not much I can do. I don't think the bull had super all game. Um, there's really just not much you can do against this comp once you're really feeling it. So that is going to be it, guys. I'm like, sorry, that was just... This is insane. I can't. I just can't believe in top level ladder gameplay, we're actually able to go 5-0 with a complete joke triple thrower comp. Very lucky that we didn't face a Mortis or a BB. I don't know how that would have went, but we faced some pretty big counters and we actually managed to go 5-0. So anyways, GG's to OG and Ash, both great players, both with amazing YouTubes. I definitely recommend checking them out. That's going to be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed 
Um, I enjoyed making this type of like dumb comp videos. I know you guys really enjoy it. So I'll definitely be back again tomorrow with some more gameplay. So just let me know what you guys want to see. I'll definitely get it out there for you guys. And that's going to be it for today. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.